What's up everyone? My name is Alex and welcome to my little corner of the internet. I am doing a series on debunking myths, debunking misconceptions about certain identities, specifically ones that I experience. This is going to be kind of a short series uh, for Monday until I can find something a little more permanent to go in that slot. So I thought it'd be nice, um, informative, and I, I guess something you could share around. Like, hey, proof that you have the wrong idea about this identity. Here's a video explaining these things, um, kind of off the cuff, kind of, you know, I, I'm i really not an academic. I'm not writing essays. Um, I'm really kind of trying to do this a little more candidly. Um, I have a list of just <laughs> general ideas on what I want to cover, but uh, most of it is um, not scripted or like researched in the way that like a video essay would be so um it's i want it to feel more like you're having a conversation with me um which is why i don't read off of a paper not word for word um i want it to be more of a discussion based thing it is the stormy talks channel it's not the stormy reads you an essay <laughs> on different topics. So we are debunking the bi-gender identity. I'm going over misconceptions about being bi-gender. The biggest one, the biggest one is bi-gender has to be male and female. That is not always the case for people. Uh, bi-gender just means having two genders. And for some people, um, two or more genders depends on who you ask and how they describe their own identity. So Bi-gender is not always male, female. It can be any combination of genders. Male and neutroy, that's what I am. Um, you can be maverick and agender. You can be anything at all. Bi-gender has to be gender fluid or gender flux. That is also not true. Uh, some people's genders are static. Some of them are unchanging. And that also brings me to your genders have to be existing at the same time, at all times. Uh, some people will switch between genders. Some days they feel this, some days they feel that. Um, sometimes there's fluidity, sometimes there's a large overlap between the two identities. Um, sometimes it's kind of blurry and they don't really know. And for some people, yes, the two genders exist at the exact same time. And not everyone knows uh, what two genders they might be experiencing. They might say, well, I feel like a woman, but there is another gender there. I just don't know what it is. Not everyone has it figured out, um, but people may still call themselves bi-gender because they feel that that fits them and that they're at least experiencing one gender and then another gender, even if they don't know what that other gender is. Bi-gender has to be androgynous or androgen, two different things. Um, but you don't have to be androgynous to be bi-gender. You don't have to be, in fact, you don't have to be presenting as either of your genders at all, because uh, presentation does not equal gender, and you don't have to reflect your gender by dressing a certain way or using certain pronouns. And that brings me to pronouns. Pronouns have to be neutral. They do not. You do not have to have neutral pronouns. You do not have to have pronouns for gender one, pronouns for gender two. You don't have to use they, them. I, I guess it's plural and there's more than one gender, so I guess the assumption is plural <laughs> pronouns are supposed to be for polygender people. Um, you don't, I mean, you could be bi-gender and just exclusively go by she, her, and nothing else. Um, you could be genderless and something else outside of the gender binary and still use he, him, or they, them, or she, her. Um, you can use neo-pronouns and be male and female, binary genders. You can have any combination of gender and pronoun. You also don't have to use pronouns. That one, that one people don't talk about enough. Um, so pronouns can go either way. You do not have to have neutral pronouns or pronouns that reflect both of your genders. Both genders have to be a 100% evenly split on both sides, meaning 50-50. Not true. Um, you could be 90% male and 10% genderless and still call yourself bi-gender. You can have 
100% male, 100% bi or uh, agender, and still be bi gender. Um, two demi genders can come together to create your identity. One of the identities can be gender fluid. Um, one of the identities can be gender flux. Um, that's where you get demi fluid, demi flux identities, um, where part of your gender is fluid or flux. Um, and you don't have to experience your gender exactly 50 50. Um, a lot of bi-gender people are mostly one gender and not as much another gender. So, um, also one of your genders can be more apparent or more prominent than the other one. So you might feel more one gender than the other, like most of the time. Bi-gender can only be combinations of male, female, and non-binary. Um, this one's kind of similar to my, uh, opening where I said that you know, it doesn't have to be male, female. Um, it does not have to be male, female, non-binary, and like some combination of two of those. Um, some people exist outside of that trinary of male, female, and other, both. Um, non-binary is such a wide range of genders, but some people don't consider themselves male, female, or non-binary. People consider themselves to be outside of that entirely. Some people find at least part of themselves to be outside of gender entirely. And there's sometimes not a word for that, or there's a more abstract way of kind of quantifying that identity. So there's a lot of people who um, do not go by male, female, or non-binary, but are still by gender because they still have two genders or two or more genders. Gendered terminology has to be neutral, as in, you know, they, them pronouns, don't refer to them as a guy, Mr. Miss, man, woman. Uh, that is also not true. Um, a lot of bi-gender people will prefer being referred to as a man or a woman or prefer to use conventional pronouns like he, him, or she, her. Um, there are a lot of bi-gender people who don't use they, them at all. That's me. Uh, my malehood is still very important to me. So um, my auxiliary identity, if you want to call it that, male, like by default, you can refer to me as a man. You can use he, him pronouns. That's not always the case with everyone. Um, a lot of people are completely neutral or completely like, don't refer to me as any kind of gender. It doesn't matter that I'm by gender, just like do away with the gendering. Uh, but it depends on the person. You don't have to keep it completely neutral. And on that topic, you do not have to transition in a neutral way or an androgynous way. You don't have to take pieces of both genders and try to fit them into your social or physical transitioning. Um, that is not a, uh, that's not required at all for this. Like you can transition completely masculinely, which is what I have done. I will still be bi gender no matter how I transition. Um, and that's, it's really just based on preference. It's based on what makes you feel comfortable. In the final note, I'm kind of bouncing around this list. I don't have like a specific order uh, to it. I'm just kind of throwing um, each topic out there, but um, genders can't be related or similar at all. A lot of people think if you're bi-gender, your two genders are very different. They're very distinct from one another. They're not at all related. You can be male and also proxvere. You could be agender and gender void. You can be, I mean, you can be gender void and Libra gender. Um, you can, any combination of things at all. You can, it, it doesn't, like, there's no rules to being bi-gender. You don't, I mean, other than, like, it fits you. Uh, that's, like, the, it's not even a rule. It's just if it fits you, if you feel it fits you, if you're very comfortable with calling yourself bi-gender, then do that. Um, but yeah, you do not have to have two genders that are completely different from one another. They can be very similar and there's, there can still be fluidity between them and there can still be a large overlap between them and you can still, and you can still experience them like both at the same time or an either or kind of situation. It, everyone's experience with being bi-gender is different. So that's what I've got. And on the topic of being bi-gender, I have a, well, I have a bi-gender zine. I talked about that at the beginning of the month. I have 
a digital zine that goes up once a month at yb3.zine at in at <laughs> it's not an email um on instagram and that'll post on the 20th of every month if you want a a pretty much daily positivity blog for bi gender people um your bi gender big brother dot tumblr dot com i have a blog where i just post positivity and uh validation and support for bi gender people and sometimes i'll post about my own experiences uh sometimes there's a prompt i'll be like hey like what are your two genders or how do you experience this gender thing <laughs> um and different stuff like that so um if you're interested in more bi gender content i have that it's all linked on my card which is in the description um i'll have the links on screen and all that so Woo. <laughs> and for at least for this week of recording I have my favorite shirt this is what non-binary looks like and it happens to match my microphone um so the puff guard on my microphone kind of blends in with my shirt slightly a little bit um but yeah I have a white and blue mic it's incredible <laughs> that's what I'm proud of is my my white and blue mic and my cool shirt um it's always the little things I guess so I hope everyone is doing well and I hope that this video is not only validating to bi-gender people who are watching this, but also helpful in explaining the bi-gender identity to someone and helping someone clear up like assumptions and misconceptions that they've had um, about being bi-gender. And um, I guess one thing I should add, I'm adding it at the end, <laughs> um, but it, it kind of goes without saying that you do not have to have a certain assigned gender at birth to experience a particular gender or a particular label. Um, that one, that one kind of goes without saying um, for all of these videos that I'm going to be doing for this series. So um, you don't have to have a certain agab that's assigned gender at birth um, in order to be bi-gender or non-binary or demi-gender or anything really so keep that in mind all that and i'm signing off for now see you later